What's going on you guys? Appreciate you guys being back for another video. I'm out here in the side yard today, sighting in this 308 bolt action here. And figured I'd just bring the camera out and bring you guys along just to let you guys know I've only shot one shot that was up at about 35 yards just to make sure that I was on paper. And then gonna bring you guys along for the next few here and see if we can get this scope sighted in on this 308 bolt action. Uh, it's a little windy here, so hopefully you guys can hear me okay. Just gonna do a quick run through on what this setup is. This right here is actually the old bolt action um, and barrel assembly that I used in F-Class competitions when I got out of the military. Uh, shot s several competitions at Camp Atterbury, uh, out to 1,200 yards with 308 in those F-Class competitions. Of course, do my own um, hand loads for those competitions because 308 gets pretty weak out to about 800 plus. I wasn't using this barreled action, so what I did was I just took it. Uh, put it in this XLR element chassis, which I really, really like. Just a lot of uh, adjustability within this thing. And I like the fact that it's got a detachable magazine as well. So that's going to be nice for coyote hunting. I probably will use this some this winter for coyote season. And we are approaching almost um, down to 60 days. Got about 65, 70 days till coyote season comes in. So can't wait for that. But anyway, the only thing I really have left to do with this rifle uh, this setup is to take this to a gunsmith and get my barrel uh, threaded so I can put my suppressor on this and run it suppressed. But um, yeah, that's it. Vortex 4 to 16 HST up top. <clears throat> like I say, just shot one shot downrange so far. You'll see that when we walk up to the target and get ready to shoot my second now. And uh, all we're looking for today, guys, is shooting off this tripod setup. I'm not laying prone. Um, not shooting bug holes out here. What I'm doing is looking for men of coyote. That's that's all I'm looking for. Uh, if I can get a decent little group, I'll be happy with it. Um, not out here splitting hairs with this. We'll also mention that this is a Criterion barrel, and uh, what this is is an old Savage Stevens uh, bolt action. So that's what we're working with, and uh, got one down there already, and we'll shoot another one here and see what the groupings start to look like. That one's off a little bit to the left, so we're gonna make some adjustments here. And we'll shoot another one and see. All right, that one moved a little bit closer. I'm gonna take you guys up there and we'll take a look. I'm just gonna move the camera here. You guys can kind of see what we're dealing with, what we're shooting with. Anybody that's followed the channel for a while has seen the shooting down there to that piece of cardboard. All right, coming up on the target here, I mentioned earlier that I shot one at close range, which you can see the mark through right here there's where i'm aiming second shot was here made an adjustment so we'll come over just a little bit more and then should be pretty close what i want to do is just ring that steel that'll be about a minute of coyote for me and then we'll be good to go like i say not looking for any competition type stuff standing up shooting off the tripod in this wind just looking to kill some coyotes all right, just went down, checked the target, made an adjustment real quick, and we're gonna fire another one down and see where we're at. better 
and go right just a little bit and we're gonna go up That might have been it. Last one felt good and looked good. Let's go take a look. All right, let's see what we got here. Should be two with no marks on them. Yep, there we go. So what we've got is very first shot, second shot, adjusted, adjusted, Right there you can see we're where we want to be. That's good for me. Even this right here. One, two, three. That right there is a minute of coyote, but I could stand out here and shoot another little group. Try to get a few in there, but I'm not gonna run through these hand loads and waste any ammo. So we'll probably go back, ring that plate once. See if I can get that on video and then we'll be done. All right, I don't have my big lens out here, but should be able to see that. Hopefully if I make contact, just gonna shoot that still plate. Well, I definitely hit it, but it sucks because I just broke it, but part of it. <laughs> well, we got it sided in. Shot that steel plate like I wanted to. Minute of coyotes, what I call it. Uh, that right side of that plate there's messed up. One of the bolts that goes through the hanging portion on the chain. Uh, it's been all messed up, been rigged up for quite some time, and it occasionally falls off. So it fell off, and it's hanging over there by one last strand. But it's uh, dialed in. It's ready for coyote season. Uh, this will be a daylight rig, of course. Um, Got something pretty cool coming in the mail that I'm gonna do a review on that's gonna to attach to this that might be able to make it um, nighttime suitable. So we'll see how that turns out. Uh, stay tuned for that. But any questions on this setup here, make sure and let me know guys. Uh, comment down below, try to get back to those questions. Um, can't wait for coyote season, it's getting close guys. Happy hunting, be safe. We'll see you on the next one, bye.